Android devices are known for giving users options. You can choose between apps, launchers, themes, icon packs, and even change your entire Android system into something else. But when it comes to Play Store, you're only stuck with this one app. Well, not any longer. In today's video, I'll be showing you five alternative stores for your Android device. And just as a side note, Google does not allow other app stores to be downloaded from within the Play Store itself. So don't bother searching these apps on Play Store. I'll have the links to all of these apps down below the like button. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is Amazon Underground, also known as Amazon App Store. Now Amazon Underground is a really neat place to download apps for an Android device. Now most of the apps, both small and big, that are on Play Store can be found here. But the cool part of Amazon Underground is that Amazon is giving away paid apps for free. Yes, you heard it right. Amazon Underground is giving away a huge collection of apps and games which are otherwise paid on Play Store for absolutely free. Paid games like the new Star Wars games, Goat Simulator, Bad Piggies can be downloaded from here for free and the list just goes on and on. So they have a huge collection of paid apps for free plus they are also giving away free in-app purchases such as coins, credits and such on popular games like Angry Birds, Photoshoot etc. And the list of paid apps for free gets updated every week which means new apps for free are added on a weekly basis in the paid apps for free list. Now the way this works is Amazon actually pays for the paid apps that you are downloading making them free for you. That makes them the biggest competitor for Google's Play Store. And just like Amazon's shopping portal, they also give impressive discounts on apps with most popular apps and games going for free. The app itself is very well made with huge user base and a robust rating system. The app is very user friendly and it's easier to use and navigate than the Play Store with a huge collection of apps and games. Me personally, I had downloaded apps worth more than $50 for free from Amazon Underground. Aside from the great free titles, the Amazon app also has a huge collection of books, movies and songs often at a lower price than the Google Play Store. So yeah, if you want to try out paid apps for free, then try out Amazon Underground and save some money. Again, the link to Amazon Underground will be down below the thumbs up button. And with that, we come to the second app in the list, that is Aptoid. Now folks, Aptoid looks pretty similar to Play Store other than the obvious orange tint. The app has an interference which is quite similar to Play Store. You have a huge collection of apps under various categories. Aptoid has a repository system from where you can grab new apps and games on a daily basis. But the best thing about Aptoid is that apps that are not available on the Play Store Apps like TubeMate, apps like Lucky Patcher that cannot be found anywhere else can be found here. Whenever you download an app, you actually download the .apk file of that app, which means you can uninstall and reinstall the app as many times as you want without the need of re-downloading it just like you have to do on Play Store. Unlike Play Store where apps are managed by Play Store itself, in Aptoid, users can open their own stores or repositories within the Aptoid app itself. So Aptoid is more or less like a shopping mall of apps with many individual stores providing their own unique section of apps. Apps and games are also listed according to the user's rating so you'll always find a new top app here which you haven't heard about before and all apps are updated on a regular basis. You can also try out these very cool user-made apps also known as homebrews and some of these apps even provide the very same feature similar to apps which are otherwise paid on Play Store because not everyone has $25 needed to publish an app on Play Store. The collection of apps is huge and the user base is large. Apps are well maintained and updated regularly. The interference is very easy to use and navigate around. And above all, apps that you cannot find anywhere else can be found here. And with that, we come to the third app in the list, that is Slide Me Market. Now, Slide Me Market is the most polished and well-made app store in the list. The app has a tile-based user interference and is the most easiest marketplace to find your way around. It provides a combination of both free and paid apps as well. Apps are categorized excellently, with each app categorized under a category within a subcategory, making finding similar apps very easy. And the list of apps is huge and well-organized. 
apps on the home page are arranged randomly so you will come across with very cool apps that you haven't seen before with apps that you might like featured at the top the highlighting feature of slide me store is it has a reward system in which you get paid for sharing apps with your friends and you can use this reward money to buy paid apps and games on slide me marketplace which is a really cool unique and a distinctive feature of slide me market in slide me store apps are filtered with options such as newest updated and according to the ratings again the app is very polished very intuitive and apps are downloaded in .apk format which means again you can reinstall the apps as many times as you want without the need of re-downloading them again and you'll have to explore across the apps diverse categories to find out several hidden gems of apps that this slide me market has to offer and the reward system is simply a cherry on the cake and with cherries and cakes we come to the fourth app on the list that is fdroid now fdroid provides a free and a fresh approach towards getting apps on android the app itself is pretty simple straightforward and gives a great list of productive and free apps other than a brief description, the app themselves don't have any reviews or ratings, but all the apps that you're gonna get over here are absolutely free and open source. The number of apps on FDroid is slim as compared to the previous stores, but what makes FDroid unique is the long list of light, useful, and above all, ad-free apps. Here you can find apps with scientific use, apps that can help you to map the stars in the constellation, and also basic apps like clock, widgets, and calculators. FDroid store is pretty basic and it's very easy to use as you can see it has a list of categories with hundreds of apps under them and the hidden feature of FDroid is that a lot of apps which are free on FDroid can be found on Play Store with a fancy name and a price tag which means they are not looking towards making money but rather they are focusing on providing the users with a free way to get useful and productive apps and the fun thing is you won't find a single app on FDroid with advertisements or pop-ups, user tracking or in-app purchases. There's no single app here with all of those elements, which are these days a standard features of apps on Play Store. And most apps found here are not found on Play Store. So if you want to explore the world of small, ad-free and useful apps, then FDroid is the app for you. And with that, we come to the fifth, the last and probably my favorite store, it's 9apps. Now folks, 9apps is the lightest and the most diverse app store on the list. The interference might not be as clean as the other apps on the list, but the app provides a lot of features which others don't. Other than providing a huge set of popular as well as homebrew apps, 9apps is specifically catered to specific countries and offer localized apps you won't find elsewhere. There are also several categories and subcategories that you won't find on other stores with a diverse selection of apps and the number of apps that 9apps has is enormous. But what makes 9apps different than others is it's not just an app store, it's more of a media hub. Here you can download beautiful wallpapers for your home screen. It has a huge collection of ringtone, music, stickers and emojis to share with your friends on WhatsApp. There's also a video portal which categorizes some of the most popular videos and fun videos from YouTube for the entertainment. There is just so much of content on this one single app here guys that literally blows me away. And with that, it might sound like this app is cluttered with so much content, but surprisingly, it's very easy to navigate and everything from apps to ringtones, from wallpapers to stickers are arranged in categories and are maintained under top, new and updated tabs. And with that, we come to cherries and cake time. The app also has a very cool reward system in which you get paid in the form of coins for simply using the app. That's it. For trying out new apps, wallpapers, music and all, you get paid in the form of coins and you can redeem these coins for real gifts like coupons and goodies. So if you want a media center from where you can download apps, wallpapers, stickers, ringtone, music for free, the 9 apps is specifically tailored for you. And with that, we come to the end of this video, but first of all, safety and security. Now folks, I have been using these alternate marketplaces since many years and I haven't had any virus or security issues. Now these apps are very safe by themselves, but if you are concerned about your security, then please do install any free antivirus app from the Play Store. They will scan apps which you download from these stores and do turn on unknown sources tab in the security tab of your Android device to allow installation of apps outside from the Play Store. 
Again, folks, these apps are for Android enthusiasts. If you are happy with your Play Store, then there is no need of installing any alternate marketplace on your device. However, if you are an enthusiast great person and like exploring into new territories, then this app will suit your taste. So with that folks, if you found this video to be helpful, interesting and if you want to watch more videos like these, make sure to be the cool guy who give thumbs up to this video and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to watch more interesting videos like these. Until then, I'm your host HK from The Android Guy signing out and you guys have a great day.